Today, we're diving into the exciting leaks and rumors surrounding Huawei's upcoming flagship smartphone, the Huawei Mate 70. After the tremendous success of the Huawei P70 series, or shall I say the Huawei Pura series, anticipation for the Mate 70 series is through the roof. So let's get into what we know so far. First off, let's talk about the launch date. Based on the latest leaks, it looks like the Huawei Mate 70 series could be hitting the shelves as early as September or October this year. And as usual, the leaks and rumors are already heating up. A new leak suggests that the Huawei Mate 70 series will bring significant design upgrades compared to its predecessor, the Mate 60 series. Tipster Smart Pikachu has given us some insights, indicating that the Mate 70 will have a more grand and professional appearance. Interestingly, the Mate 70 series is expected to come in two screen versions, a flat screen and a slightly curved screen. While curved displays have become less popular recently, it seems the high-end model might feature this design element. Plus, all display panels are rumored to be larger than those on the Mate 60 series. Next, let's talk cameras. According to Bing Digital Master, Huawei will continue using its innovative retractable camera lens for the Mate 70 series. However, it's still unclear if this feature will be exclusive to the high-end models, like it was with the Huawei Pura 70 Ultra. This likely means that the retractable camera feature will remain exclusive to the Huawei Mate 70 Pro, rather than being included in all the regular Mate 70 models. Now let's dive into the camera specifics. A new leak suggests that the high-end Huawei Mate 70 series will feature brand new Omnivision camera sensors. Tipster ChatStation has shared that the future Kirin, Qualcomm, and MediaTek chip-equipped phones will use camera solutions like the OV50H, OV50K, OV50N, and OV50M. For the Mate 70 series, the OV50H and OV50K are the ones to watch. The regular Mate 70 is expected to use the OV58, while the high-end Mate 70 Pro will likely feature the OV50K. So what's so special about the OV50K sensor? It's the latest creation from Omnivision and boasts a one inch large sensor with the highest dynamic range, making it exceptional in low light conditions. This means you'll get bright, vibrant shots even in dim environments. The OV50K main camera sensor can automatically adjust high and low brightness areas based on the environment, which enhances the post coloring of images. Plus, it features a large slash 1.4 aperture for improved light intake, better color performance, and faster focusing speed compared to other sensors. With these advanced camera features, the upcoming Huawei Mate 70 Pro is expected to excel in camera performance, coupled with a brand new design. So what do you think about the upcoming Huawei Mate 70 series? Are you excited about the new design and camera features? Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. That's all for today's video. As always, the story continues. I'll be bringing you all the latest updates on the Huawei Mate 70 series. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. In just a few months time, the iPhone 16 Pro Max will succeed the iPhone 15 Pro Max and take on the mantle as the best and most advanced iPhone out there. Although there's plenty of time until September and a lot can change, we seem to know a lot about the upcoming top iPhone model based on rumors and leaks. How is the iPhone 16 Pro Max shaping up against its predecessor? What's changing and what's staying the same? Let's see how the iPhone 16 Pro Max shapes up against the current best iPhone Apple has in its roster. First up, let's talk about design and size. The iPhone 16 Pro Max will inherit the same design language as the iPhone 15 Pro Max, employing the same titanium frame with a completely flat screen. The major difference between the iPhone 16 Pro Max and the iPhone 15 Pro Max will be size. The upcoming iPhone screen will grow to 6.9 inches across a significant bump over the iPhone 15 Pro Max's 6.7 inch display. To achieve this, they're likely shrinking the bezels down even further and making the thumb itself slightly larger overall. As per the rumors, the iPhone 16 Pro Max will measure 163 millimeter in height and 77.58 millimeter in width versus 159.9 millimeter and 76.7 millimeter for the iPhone 15 Pro Max, respectively. A small but notable change, all things considered. The iPhone 15 Pro Max debuted with an action button instead of a mute switch and a USB Type-C port at the bottom, so those two features will be carrying over to the newer model as well. However, the iPhone 16 series will be scoring another button, dubbed the Capture Button. Colors-wise, the iPhone 15 Pro Max was available in four understated and titanium-inspired colors. We've heard that Apple might use another titanium processing technique that will make the iPhone 16 Pro Max glossier and also more capable of retained colors. Moving on to display differences. 
As mentioned, the iPhone 16 Pro Max will come along with a significantly larger display, measuring at 6.9 inches across. Aside from the size, we don't clearly expect any other major changes. We're certainly getting a liquid Retina XDR display with an OLED panel delivering superb colors, contrast, and exceptional maximum brightness. The screen will support 120Hz ProMotion refresh rate, making scrolling through the interface and on-screen content way smoother. Now let's delve into performance and software. The iPhone 16 Pro Max will feature a second-generation 3 nanometer chip, possibly dubbed Apple A18 Pro. As one can imagine, we expect that the Apple A18 Pro will have better performance than the Apple A17 Pro. Due to the heavily rumored focus on AI for both iOS and the iPhone 16 range, we expect that the iPhone 16 Pro Max will come with a much improved neural engine to take care of all the generative AI features. The iPhone 16 Pro Max will also be the first to debut iOS 18 with a focus on artificial intelligence features. The new iPhone 16 Pro Max will also support faster Wi-Fi 7 and a more power-efficient 5G modem, keeping you future-proofed on the connectivity front. Let's talk about the camera. As the iPhone 15 Pro Max deliver a host of important camera features, chief among which is the new 120mm telephoto lens, the iPhone 16 Pro Max can finally address one of the forgotten cameras that hasn't recently scored any significant overhauls, the ultra-wide. Analyst Ming-Chi Ko believes that Apple will be introducing a 48 megapixel ultra-wide camera on the iPhone 16 Pro Max. When it comes to audio quality, iPhone Pro Max devices are always up there with the best, setting the benchmarks for all other manufacturers to measure up against. The iPhone 16 Pro Max will be no exception. The same generally applies to haptics too. iPhones are arguably the best devices when it comes to haptic feedback, giving us precise and accurate vibrations that are sufficiently strong yet not overpowering. Lastly, battery life and charging. The iPhone 16 Pro Max will reportedly feature a much larger 4,676 mAh battery compared to the 4,422 mAh battery in the iPhone 15 Pro Max. Charging-wise, we haven't heard anything about a potential charging speed increase, but we hope to see one on the iPhone 16 Pro Max. So far, the iPhone 16 Pro Max is shaping up to be a logical improvement to the iPhone 15 Pro Max delivering key upgrades in important areas like screen size, performance, AI, and battery life. Thus far, we haven't heard anything particular about a potential price increase, so it's safe to assume that the iPhone 16 Pro Max will start at $1,199 for the 256 gigabytes version. Of course, if there's an iPhone 15 Pro Max in your pocket, then you'll probably have few reasons to upgrade to the iPhone 16 Pro Max. Stay tuned for more updates on the iPhone 16 Pro Max as we get closer to its release date. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for the latest tech news and reviews. Thanks for watching. Until next time, peace.